Today I'm going to show you how to use the reference option of the rotate command to quickly and easily line up objects in a drawing without having to do any math or having to get any information about the objects you're trying to manipulate. In this drawing I have a little floating pipe end off here in space and I have an existing pipe end which I would like to attach my floating pipe end to. Now currently I don't know anything about the actual rotation angles of these pieces. I could try to list them or use an angular dimension or try to get some other information out of the drawing, but the precision of that would depend on my current unit settings and that might not be accurate enough for what I need to do. So instead I'm going to bypass that completely and just use the geometry directly in the drawing. Now the first thing I'm going to do is move this pipe end over so that it has a common base point with the geometry I want to align it to. It just makes things easier when you're working with the rotate command. I'll go ahead and start rotate and just like always I'll select my object, press enter, and then specify a base point. In this case it's going to be the common corner between the two pieces. Now I could just specify a rotation angle but I don't know the relative difference between these two. I could guess, but that's not very precise. So instead, I will use the reference option to define a new relative angle, a new relative location for zero. And because I want to align the two flat sides, I'm going to specify the length or the distance along one of those flat sides as my new reference angle. Just pick from one endpoint to the other, and now when I move the mouse around, you can see that the floating pipe end is directly attached to that rubber band image. Wherever I click, that'll be the precise angle of rotation. So I can use my object snaps to snap to the end point of the existing pipe end. And immediately they are precisely aligned. I didn't have to do any math. I didn't have to know anything about the drawing in question. And they're already rotated and aligned. In another video, I'll show you how to use the reference option of the scale command to make the two pipe ends the same size, still without knowing anything about how big they actually are or their relative size.